The Thungra Spiral is a HO scale layout built by the Epping Model Railway Club in Sydney and is based on a spectacular piece of railway between Juni and Goulburn, located yeah. about 20 kilometres from Cootamundra on the main south line, which links Melbourne to Sydney. This continuous running exhibition layout measures 9.6 metres wide and 2.7 metres deep and is about a metre off the ground to make for easy viewing as well as operation. It is built up of 16 lightweight and portable sections and it can be seen at many exhibitions in New South Wales, the Australian Capital Territory and even in Victoria. The track used is Pico Code 75 with Electrofrog turnouts and Tortoise Point motors. However, there is no crossovers or sightings on the public display side. So the track on the scenic side is nothing but mainline. The scenery on this layout is excellent. The ground has been formed from a polystyrene foam base covered with plaster, ground foam and static grass, as well as other detailing parts. The bridges and tunnels are the only structures on this layout being built by kits as well as from scratch. And as well as that, all the trees on this layout are handmade by club members. The Thungra Spiral is powered by DC and DCC, for which they use the NCE ProCab system. However, when being operated, they use both DC on one track and DCC on the other, which allows club members a greater variety of rolling stock and trains when on show. So here's a little bit of information on the prototype. The original single track line opened in 1878 and was graded at 1 in 40 and 1 in 45 for Sydney bound trains, which imposed a severe limitation on train loads as well as that it also caused congestion as banker engines were attached and detached. When the line was duplicated from 1941 to 1946, an 8.9 kilometre spiral deviation was built the spiral makes use of local geography in the shape of the hill around which the uphill or upbound Sydney trains spiral in order to gain necessary height over longer distance, thus giving a lesser gradient. The spiral is an integral part of the Australian railway network today and I highly recommend visiting the location if you're ever in the area. In 1994, there was some major work done on the prototype in the form of widening and reprofiling the cuttings. So this layout does depict how the spiral looked from 1946 to 1994. Although they generally run trains from the 60s to the 90s, although a few modern era trains might make an appearance from time to time. However, with the era that is set from late steam to early privatization gives them a huge scope to work with. So if you are keen to find out more about this layout or where you can even see it in person, I'll leave links to the Epping Model Railway Club in the description below.
So thank you all so much for watching. And if you do have any feedback, don't forget to leave it for me in the comments section below or for the club. And don't forget to be subscribed so you can keep up with plenty more of these videos coming in the future. Thank you all so much for watching. Hooroo!